Heads or tails? Flipping a frisbee isn't the same as flipping a coin. The chance of it landing face up or face down isn't 50-50. In the sport of ultimate frisbee, the captains of each team meet and decide the start of the game. Typically, this is determined by flipping two frisbees. While the discs are in the air, a captain will call evens or odds. The outcome determines which team chooses their starting position first. However, this game is unfair. To build a bit of the tuition, let's start with a single disc flip. To gather data, we flipped a single frisbee 250 times and the outcome was a 54% chance of heads and a 46% chance of tails. Every disc in every field is different, which means that every disc has a different probability of landing heads. We model the probability of the disc landing heads as a beta random variable, which is a continuous distribution with this probability density function. We can throw this into code and run it on our sample data to come up with a probability for our frisbee. To make the sample more statistically robust, we used a method called bootstrapping. The expected value of this disc landing heads was 53.99%. That's not 50-50. Ultimate Frisbee uses a double disc flip because it's supposed to reduce the bias and probability that the disc lands heads or tails. Assuming that every flip is an independent event, which means that the outcome of one flip doesn't affect the outcome of another flip, we can calculate the probabilities of every combination of a double disc flip by multiplying their probabilities together. If we add up the evens and odds, we can see that the probabilities of evens is 50.32% and odds is 49.68%. This means that it's always in your favor to call evens for the double flip. Even by minimizing the single disc bias, we still expect that for every 200 games, which is approximately how many games are played at USA Internationals, at least one toss will follow the way of a team. Here's a new strategy. First, both captains flip a single disc that they provide. If both frisbees land the same orientation, either both heads or both tails flip again. If both discs land in different orientations, the team with the disc that landed heads wins. Mathematically, we can model the probabilities of winning as an infinite geometric sum using the following equations. We see that in both cases, as zero approaches infinity, the limit does exist, and the probability approaches one half, which is 50%. That means that both teams have the same chance of winning. Well, we can expect roughly two flips on average to be the number of iterations it takes to determine the winner. This strategy is an excellent alternative to the current method, as it requires the same amount of effort and ensures a fair game. Now you know, if you're using the current double flip method, call evens, then the odds may be ever in your favor.